think about those nights in Montreal Forget the sweetest thoughts of you and me Listen Ayo, ayo, ayo. It is now March 9th. It's Saturday. Um, we're done um, at 8 o'clock. The 34 will be complete. So um, we'll be leaving the yard today and going to pick up a load and going to Houston. So that's going to be a ride. Um, that's about a thousand miles from Minnesota. It's, it's gonna be a ride. Um, but yeah, so since I'm here, I didn't do anything yesterday because I was um, editing two videos. Um, so have those in the works. And then I have three more to edit it. So I got a lot of videos coming, like they coming. They come, well, by this time, by this video, they'll be already up. But yes, I got a lot of videos that I was working on, okay? But yeah, I'm about to get um, a good old sweat on. I'm about to do this elliptical here and then use this machine as well. And then we're going to take a shower and we're going to get up out of here today. All right. I'll holler at you. Can I shake that ass for me? Hey, I still got some love deep inside of me. No need to lie to me. I know you got a guy. He's not a guy to me. Just say goodbye to him. Yeah, say goodbye to me. Yeah, say goodbye to me. I know you got a guy. He's not a guy to me. Just say goodbye to him. Yeah, say I just got done working out for about 35 minutes. Um, I really was supposed to be here longer than that, but I woke up late, pushed news too many times, and I did not get up on time. So, but I was able to get a good sweat in and get a good workout in. So now I'm about to go over here and take me a good old shower. So, yeah. Uh, let me see. I'm just trying to figure out like what's the good angle for this camera. I think this is. Okay. So yeah. But now I'm about to go take a shower and I'll highlight y'all later. Hey yo, hey yo. Um, I'm dressed. We ready to go. Free trip has been completed by Trevor. And I'm about to get in the truck and be a good old PP. And that is a passenger princess, baby. <laughs> but yeah, it's cold. Like it's super, super cold. But yeah, so we rolling, baby. We rolling. We about to be out of Egan. Heading on to this pickup. I don't know what city it is, but go pick up this load and head on old Texas. Back home, baby. And then we gonna be home for home time. Yay. Yeah. Be excited about that.
are here at the um, shipper. He went to go check in and now we wait for a door. They're full right now. So we're probably gonna be waiting for a little bit for a door. Unless, unless the trailer that's already in the door, that they're um, that they gonna give it to him. Hopefully, the trailer that's in the door, they give to him. Um, because it is a, a truck trailer here for our company. So we hoping, we hoping. But who knows, it's supposed to be a, um, a loaded. So we're supposed to be getting loaded here, but lord who knows at this point but yeah we stopped at a gas station a quick trip like start with a k um they had like a whole bunch of groceries and stuff in there i was just like mm, that's a little grocery store but we was rushing to get here and he was rushing me so i ended up giving him getting him something that was old and he he was like ah, i can't eat this it's old and i'm like mm, sorry because he was rushing me and I was just picking up stuff. And so I got me a um another naked. I'm drinking this and I'm about to cut up some apples so he can at least have some apples um to eat for him this morning because I don't know how long we're gonna be here and we don't have nothing in the refrigerator because we thought we was gonna be moving into our new truck yesterday, but obviously we are still in the Kenny. You know what I'm saying? We still in the Kenworth, so yeah. But it's it's some stuff happening, and I will definitely let you guys know what's going on. But for right now, we're just gonna continue to drive the Kenworth right now and just be doing what we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Out here. What 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 what? Hello? Trailer number R19. Okay. Alrighty, so something has happened. Well, I know I was just saying how we was hoping that this load would be a drop in hook. Well, it actually is. But the crazy thing about it is this was the last trailer that we found yesterday. So at the yard. So this trailer is on um, half a tank. And when you drop a trailer at most of these um, shippers yards and stuff, you have to have a full tank of um, fuel in it. So this trailer is not full. And we was, we was thinking, well not thinking, we was told that this was a pickup that we was gonna get loaded. So he was just gonna wait till we got on 35 going south to get some fuel in it. But nope. They said, nope, this is a drop in hook, and your trailer needs to be on full tank of gas. Well, the trailer is not on the full tank of gas, but luckily the place that we're at here in Minnesota, it has fuel. So that's the good thing about it. Um, it's literally walking distance away from the building. The building is literally over there and we just drove over here but now he had to go in and ask to see if we can get reefer fuel in this reefer here because um if your company don't have an account or if they don't use this type of um the type of fuel card then you might not be able to get fuel so hopefully i'm praying that they do have a um account here because they do have a lot of reefers here so i would think that they do have an account here but so that's what we waiting on now he's walking up so we'll see and i'll let y'all know once we are on the road rolling down the road all righty talk to you later So I just have to use the restroom. We here at Highway 19. Little truck stop. And gotta get a we have to get a um we're waiting on the email from customer service so that highway 19 will be able to give us a washout and reefer fuel. So 
That's what we're waiting for. That's where we're going to go in there. But that's what we're waiting for right now. I just had to go use the restroom. But yeah. Stay tuned, baby. Let's see what's going to happen next. Let's see how long we're going to be waiting. Huh? Watch out, yeah. And fuel in a reaper. I can't hear none of this man saying. Yeah, and reefer fuel. Yeah. The lady on the phone said that she's waiting for an email. Yeah, for a pu approval. Yeah. No. Yeah. What happened? Oh, he was asking what we needed. <laughs> yeah, just to wash out and get some reason fuel. I guess he was just trying to see what was going on. <laughs> but, yeah. Somebody behind us. I guess they need some to wash out. They, they ski. Hey, this is Trevor Allen with Bam Bay again. Hey, I was calling to see, did they send that email over yet? Good grief, people. Okay, let me. Okay. I'll give them a call back, see if they can't get it to you. Thank you. Service can't just da, 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 approve, approve, Ooh. approve. He said that's forty four dollars. Mm. Uh, and what he said? Yeah, forty four. Mm -hmm. EFS code. And the reefer's probably gonna be what ninety, maybe not even that. Probably like eighty. The last price I seen that they had was five dollars for the reefer for fuel. Period. So it's probably gonna be like. Ninety bucks, so one hundred and forty-four dollars. It's gonna be high. It's gonna be higher than any reefer fuel ever been before. I wish they would have told you to freaking drop yeah, it for that. Too. Okay, so we are back at the main office where um, to get the res the shipping office, and it took us literally from nine forty to right now it is twelve thirty two. It took that long just to get reefer fuel in the reefer and a EFS code for a washout and all they was all the lady said on um, through the little qualcomm is oh i thought i sent it So we are here still in Minnesota. We're still in Minnesota. Um, we in Clark, 
Minnesota, something like that. I don't know. But uh, we've been in this little before. We just got fuel. And I got to be a salad. Because we haven't eaten anything today. So I got me a little salad from Love's. Um, it's just a chef salad. We got eggs, a little bacon, some ham, some of this cheese. I'm going to take it out. I don't eat these little cherry tomatoes. And it is only 280 calories. This is a salad that I normally get from Love's. It's pretty. And I also got some grapes to eat and to snack on. Um, I, I just try to snack on these grapes like pretty much every time we stop at Love's, I try to get some because when we riding, I try to eat the most healthiest food that we can that I can get. Um, I know when we go home, I'm going to grocery shopping. I'm just going to pretty much get a lot of like veggies and fruits and stuff because I'm not going to buy any food out um, in these truck stops and stuff because I'm going to try to just stick to what I already have. I know I'm always good to have tuna, so I'm going to have them packets of tuna to just make me some quick tuna real quick on a daily um, and also just eat the tuna with like cucumbers and also have like crackers and stuff like that so i'm gonna try to keep some real light and um fulfilling food with me because i'm not trying to be out here um gaining weight that i'm trying to lose you know what i'm saying because i'm trying hard to lose weight i'm losing a little bit you know what i'm saying but it's not as fast as it's going to be because of course you know um when you're trying to lose weight you know it takes time you know so i'm doing my steps i'm doing as much as i can to lose weight so i'm putting in the work and it's gonna happen because i used to be smaller than what i am now and i'm not happy about how big i've gotten since i've been in love and stuff so yeah um i am going to get it up off me no matter what um, I've been trying to choose the better choices because there is a Wendy's in this loves. And when I say y'all wanted some spicy chicken nuggets, I wanted some spicy chicken nuggets. But I decided to do the more healthier route and get me my chef salad and eat this. And this is pretty much the only meal that I'm going to be basically eating today because where we stop at, it's going to be like a family style restaurant. But I'm not sure if they're going to have any healthy foods. If they do, it's probably just going to be sides like green beans or corn and stuff like that. So, if they do, I'll let y'all see that. But, um, if not, hopefully they got, like, a salad bar or like something like that. I'll just probably have me another salad or, like, a chicken wrap or something. But, overall, I'm just going to keep everything light and tight um, so I can't lose the weight that I want to lose. And we are still on our way to um, Houston. Um, we will be stopping in Denton at the yard, um i think sunday so today's saturday tomorrow we should be making to denton tomorrow i mean yeah tomorrow night or tomorrow evening um and then what was the point of me saying that yeah i don't know but yeah we will be making it to denton tomorrow and we're gonna be swapping out trucks supposedly monday so if we do check out for that wait for that you will see that we will be getting a new truck and we'll see how that goes. And I'll also let y'all know what's going on as well. But I'm about to eat. So we have made it to Love's. We're still in, um, no, we made it to Missouri at a Love's. And this is where we're gonna end at for tonight. And i get back with y'all. I might eat some Subway, I might not. Not really sure. But I'm about to go in here and use the restroom. And then see what we about to do. I holla at you. One foot long and one six inch. Thank you. ninth I think and it is 4 40 in the morning and we're still at this loves well because we went to sleep at the loves but yeah we at this loves and I just woke up about to go in here and do my thing in the restroom and then 
We're gonna get on this road, get back to Texas, get to the yard, and hopefully change trucks Monday, and then go to Houston um, the next day. So, alrighty. We out here rolling, y'all. Don't forget to this restroom. I'll holla at you. Alright, so I have brushed my teeth, washed my face, and I'm walking back to the truck and see if Trevor is up. Because who knows? He might be still asleep. So we're gonna have to wake him up. Because it is 5.15. He should be up. But who knows? We'll see. come back to the truck tomorrow more likely that's what we're gonna do go to the house chill shower just hang out at the house probably grab some food well, i'm kind of done eating for the day um but yeah so yeah so we trying to figure out what we're gonna do but we are here in denton and then tomorrow we'll be back up here at the yard and tomorrow is monday this load on deliver to tuesday so We'll be here tomorrow just to um, check out and see if they got us our truck. And if they do, we're going to move into that tomorrow. Hopefully. Let's pray. Fingers crossed. We should be in a new truck tomorrow. We should. Um, I was already packing the other day. We was in Egan. But that didn't work out. So, yeah. So, hopefully, um, we get into our new truck tomorrow. And then we'll be heading to Houston Tuesday morning to drop this load. And then we'll be on home time after that for sure. So, but yeah, I'll keep y'all updated. Um, if we go home, I'm more likely going to go to the gym later on this evening. And then just go to the house and just hang out. But all right, talk to you later. <laughs>